by AW Studios Books and I was tagged by Katie at Read Write Dance. Thank you so much for tagging me, Katie. And this tag is basically questions based on the Hunger Games trilogy, which I love, and I'm really excited to do it because it sounds really fun. And in order to do this tag, I will need a reaping bowl with the names of all of the books that I own. And I have a lot of books, so that would be a really long process for me to write all of the names down and put them in the actual bowl. So like Katie, uh, I will have a random chooser on my computer so that it will be easier. And yeah, let's get started with the questions. I will be reading them off my phone because they're kind of long questions, so if you see me looking down, that's what I'm doing. So question number one is hunting in District 12. Choose a character that you would like to have with you when you are hunting beyond the boundaries of District 12. For this one, I am obviously choosing Selena from the Throne of Glass series. I would love to have her when I'm hunting with me because she is just so kick butt and she knows how to kill and so she knows how to hunt. Yeah, I feel like she would be such a good companion and she would teach me many things and how to survive out in the wilderness and how to get food. So yeah, definitely Selena. She would be great help. Question number two is the reaping. Consult the reaping bowl. Draw two tributes from books from the bowl and choose your favorite. Consulting the reaping bowl. I got Alienated by Melissa Landers and Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows by J.K. Rowling. Which one am I gonna choose? I don't know. This one. This book is perfect. It's the last book in the Harry Potter series. If you haven't read it, you should because it's a great series and this is a great ending and it is much better than this, even though I did really enjoy it, but this is Harry Potter, so it's better than everything. Yeah. Question number three is make over time. Choose both a book cover that really needs a makeover and one that is already perfect. For the cover that needs some working on, I am going to choose Lux Beginnings by Jennifer L. Armentrout. The face thing doesn't really work for me that much. Um, it's just like a half face looking at you. And then there's this guy standing upside down, which really makes no sense. And then it is sparkly. I don't know if you can see that, but, you know, it is sparkly. That's one thing I like. But just this color and this face and the hair being blown... I just, it's not really my thing. It kind of looks like a really bad romance novel. But the story in it is really good. I just, I'm saying that this cover just doesn't work for me at all. One cover that is perfect for me is Crown of Midnight by Sarah J. Mass. Now I have this beautiful hardcover of this book and it's, it's flawless, okay? It has these orangey, reddish colors on it and then it has Selena with two swords about to kick some butt and with this hunting gear and and it has the writing that is like all fancy and then in the back it has Selena dressed as a princess which is cool in the same position which is amazing and the spine is also really nice I just I just adore this cover it's my favorite cover of all time and it's beautiful. I'm going to have a poster of this and I'm going to hang it on my wall because it's just that, it's that pretty, okay? You guys, it's that pretty. Question number four is chariot rides. What is a book that catches your eye from a long distance? And for this one, I'm going with an Ignite Me by Tahara Mafi. This book has just a really nice cover. It's kind of shiny and it has a nice texture. And this eye is just looking at you and telling you, come, buy me, read me, love me. It has all these flowers and plant things that are really nice. And I just, I really love looking at this cover. And if I see it from a long distance, I will have to go up and look at it and touch it and hug it. Because, I don't know, I love this book and it has a really nice cover. So question number five is training. Choose a book that could do with some improvements. 
For this one, I'm choosing The Maze Runner by James Dasher. Now, I read this book last year, and I didn't have that much of a critical reading mind last year, so I said that I really liked it. But I was kind of bored at some times. I was really intrigued by the synopsis, and so I picked it up because of that. But I felt like this book wasn't executed in the right way. I felt like it had to be a lot more action-packed to actually be interesting. The characters were fine, I didn't love them so much, and yeah, the series that doesn't get much better afterwards, so I feel like that whole series need needs some working on, but you know, it's it's okay. I feel like not a lot of people like this series actually, which is kind of sad, but what can you do, you know? What can you do? Question number six is training scores. Consult the Reaping Bowl. Draw five tributes, books, and give them their training score and how much you enjoyed reading them. One being I hated it, and twelve being I couldn't put it down. Let's see what the Reaping Bowl says. Consulting. Alright, so I've got my five books. They are The Scorch Trials by James Dashner, Percy Jackson and the Last Olympian by Rick Riordan, Ignite Me by Tahara Mafi, which I have just talked about, Crown of Midnight by Sarah J. Mass, which I have also just talked about, and Clockwork Angel by Cassandra Clare. So, The Scorch Trials. Like I said earlier, I did not enjoy this series so much. I felt like this book was not any better than the first one. It was kind of good, but not really, so I am going to give it a... Because it wasn't too bad, but it wasn't good either, so yeah, six. Then, Percy Jackson and the Last Olympian was very good. It was a very good ending to that series, so I will be giving it a... 9 out of 12. Ignite Me, you all know that I love, so I will give it a 10 out of 12. Crown of Midnight is one of my favorite books. It's my favorite book in the Throne of Glass series for now, so I will be giving it a 11 out of 12. And Clockwork Angel was my least favorite book in this series. I felt like it was just world building. I mean, it was a good start to this series, so I will give it a 10 because I loved the series overall, so I feel like this one deserves a lot, so yeah, 10. 10. Question 7. Interviews. Choose two characters that you think would be capital favorites. I'm choosing Magnus Bane from the Mortal Instruments, Infernal Devices, and Bane Chronicles because he's such a sparkly person and he has very colorful and crazy clothes, just like the capital people, and I feel like they would love him a lot. And I'm actually only choosing him because I don't know which other character to choose from another book series, so yeah, this one. I'm speaking really fast right now because my camera is dying, so I have to do this quickly. I'm sorry about that. Question 8 is Cornucopia. Choose a fiction book that would be a valuable asset for you in the arena. For this, I'm going with The Fifth Wave because this book has many tips on how to survive out in the wilderness in an apocalypse -y kind of setting and I feel like it would be kind of helpful to just consult uh, sometimes to see what can I do to do this, what can I do to do that, so yeah, it would be really helpful to have. Question 9 is canons. What is a character from any book that you wish would die in the arena? I am going with Queen Lavana from the Lunar Chronicles because she is such a bad villain and I hate her so much. She's so evil and I just want her to die. Like, I know that's really mean, but she just, she needs to die. I hope she dies in this series. Like, in winter, I hope she dies because I can't stand her. I can't stand her. I, I haven't read Fair, so I don't know why she's like this, but I don't care. She's just bad, so she needs to go. She needs to leave. Go. Bye. Question 10 is, Victor, consult the Reaping Bowl, draw five tributes books from the bowl, and decide which of the main protagonists from those books would win the Hunger Games. For these I got Daughter, Smoke and Bone, The Retribution of Mara Dyer, Cinder, and Scarlet by Marissa Meyer, and Four by Veronica Roth. The main character that I think w would survive the arena in the Hunger Games is Four, because he's a Dauntless. He has Dauntless training, so he obviously knows how to fight and how to kill. He is very smart, so he probably knows how to survive out in the wilderness by himself. And yeah, I feel like he's just gonna, he would be a great winner out of all of those. I know Cinder is really kick butt too, but no. 
Four, definitely four, 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 four. Question 11 is Victor's Village. Choose two fictional characters you would want to be neighbors with in the Victor's Village. For this, I chose Ron Weasley from the Harry Potter series and Percy from the Percy Jackson series. Both these two are really sassy and funny characters, which would be so much fun to be neighbors with, and I just love them so much. I just, I adore them. They're my favorite characters from books. So I feel like they would be great to be neighbors, and I just, oh, I just love them. And then question 12 is Victory Tour. Choose a book quote you would like to share in your speech to each district. For this, I am choosing a quote from Goblet of Fire, and it is, We are only as strong as we are united, as weak as we are divided. Because I feel like that's a really powerful quote, especially for the kind of society that we have in the Hunger Games trilogy, like all these different districts with different kinds of society, uh, like really poor people and really rich people. So I feel like they all have to work together to actually make it work. And yeah, so I feel like I would have to inspire them to be like that, to be more united and more together. So definitely that quote. And question number 13, which is also the last question, is who do you tag? And I actually have no idea right now. So I will be tagging people down in the description, so be sure to, to check that out and see if you are tagged. So yes, that was my video. Thank you so much for watching. I had so much fun doing this, and I will see all of you guys in my next video. Bye!